see how it's working. So, distinguished guests and colleagues, dear friends, for me it's an honor to be here as a PTSS alumnus and a speaker to this conference discussing the perspectives on countering foreign terrorist fighters phenomenon. First of all, I would emphasize that Bulgaria strongly condemns any form of terrorism. We, as a nation, Bulgarian government, me personally, as a government official, we expressed our deep indignation at the terrorist attacks in, across Paris to last Friday. Dear organizers, thanks a lot to invite me as a speaker and particularly to give such opportunity to young professionals with different background, including diplomacy, and to promote the gender balance and the role of women in peace and security, including counter-terrorism efforts. I will focus my presentation on FTF, FTF phenomenon in Europe, exploring Bulgarian as, Bulgaria as a case study. Bulgaria is a European country, a member of the European Union. We are facing similar to other member states' security risks and challenges. Terrorism, proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, organized crime, military or protracted regional conflicts, illegal migration. Foreign terrorist fighters phenomenon is a serious security concern not only for Europe, but for Bulgaria as well. Encountering together with the other member states the same security risk and challenges, we need to consider also some particularities, namely the fact that Bulgaria is an external border of the European Union. We are on, on the way of foreign terrorist fighters traveling to and from Syria and Iraq to Europe. We are taking a huge responsibility to secure not only Bulgarian, but also a part of the EU external border. Further, Bulgaria has one of the largest indigenous Islamic communities in Europe, which brings a potential risk for radicalization. The main concern reported by EU member states is the phenomenon of jihadists traveling to and from conflict zones, which has enhanced the capabilities and the determination of religiously inspired terrorist individuals and groups to perpetuate terrorist attacks in Europe. The EU member states also reported an increase in women and children traveling to the region of conflict. This phenomenon, negative phenomenon, may eventually lead to the emergence of a new generation of jihadist terrorists in Europe. The number of fighters that have returned to the European Union has increased also. In addition, member states' involvement in the anti-ISIS or Al-Qaeda coalition military acti activity is also assessed as increasing the threat, the threat to the European Union. According to, to EU Terrorism Situation and Trend Report 2015, the current scale of the phenomenon foreign terrorist fighters is unprecedented and is growing. Some statistic, I will skip this. The EU policy and analytical documents emphasize that the threat to the European security posed by EU nationals or others who have joined terrorist groups as foreign terrorist fighters is represented a compelling reason of self-interest for the EU to increase its engagement in Syria, Iraq, and the neighboring country. According to the EU counterterrorism strategy for Syria and Iraq, the key aims are to minimize the risk to Europe and European interests and the threat to regional stability from terrorism emanating from Syria and Iraq, and to contribute to the strategic defeat of ISIS, Daesh, and Al-Nusra Front, including of their violent ideology. Bulgaria as a case study. The security threat for Bulgaria related with the foreign fighters phenomenon need to, needs to be analyzed and evaluated within the context of global terrorism challenges. According to Bulgaria national security strategy, Asymmetric threats, especially international terrorism, substantially impact the global and regional security context. Terrorism is a serious threat to global security. Regional conflicts and economic and financial 
crisis further exacerbate the threat. Terrorist organizations have decentralized their structure, diversified their modi operandi, and apply infiltrated into democratic society. Bulgaria does not apply an officially introduced graded scale terrorism risk assessment model. However, the current terrorism threat level for Bulgaria could be assessed as moderate, which means that a terrorist attack is possible, but not likely. There is no evidence of concrete plans and intentions of terrorist attacks in Bulgarian territory or against Bulgarian interests and citizens abroad. However, there is a potential terrorist risk due to the following preconditions. The increased terrorist activity worldwide, the participation of Bulgaria in the global coalition to counter the ISIS, the existence of, of, on Bulgarian territory of potential terrorism targets and critical infrastructure vulnerable to such terrorist attacks, a hypothetical pos possibility of infiltration of, of uh, ter terrorist elements from abroad. You should know that since 2011, there was repeatedly reported increase in the incidence of threat level of terrorism in the country. Hopefully, throughout the country, there have been no actions that could be qualified as terrorism under national and the EU legal framework. However, a high degree of probability suggests that a bomb attack came out at Burgas Sarafovo Airport in July 2012 constitutes a terrorist attack. In details, on that date, 18th of July, started near to the bus loaded with terrorists, uh, uh, with tori tourists, a terrorist triggered an improvised explosive device. As a result of the blast, five Israeli and one Bulgarian citizen, citizen, as well as a bomber who was identified later as a French citizen of Lebanese origin, were killed. There is no evidence for connection between this case and foreign fighters or terrorist groups in Syria and Iraq. Recently, there is increasing evidence of the transit of foreign terrorist fighters through Bulgaria. According to the U US Department of State 2014 country reports on terrorism, the foreign fighters threat together with the continued migration of asylum seekers from Syria to Bulgaria raised the country counterterrorism profile in 2014. The same trends are relevant in 2015. Presently, the competent national authority do not dispose with enough information based on which the travel of persons residing or passing across the territory of Bulgaria in direction to and from the conflict zones such as Syria, it could be, could be uniquely defi defined as re uh, related to terrorist, terrorism activity. In connection with the conflict in Syria, appeared the phenomenon called foreign terrorist fighters, which is recruiting more and more supporters and represent a huge threat to the international security. Most of these persons are passing through Turkey to reach Syria and Iraq in order to join into the armed conflict. The phenomenon, the phenomenon FTF is a problem for Bulgaria to the, the fact, to the fact that our current country is a EU external border. We are bordering with Turkey, with many of, many of the based in Europe foreign terrorist fighters are trying to reach the conflict zones in Syria and Iraq, passing exactly through, through the territory of Bulgaria. Furthermore, that fact creates conditions for the integration of foreign terrorist fighters' networks, builds up their cells on our territory, and makes our country a transit area for the movement of such persons to and from Syria and Iraq. Actually, the new trend of this FTF phenomenon seriously threatening the national security is namely the return process. The successful operations of anti-terrorist coalition against ISIS currently increase the number of foreign fighters who try to, came back, to come back in Europe. As I already mentioned, Turkey remains the main transit hub for travel to and from Syria and Iraq, as well as direct and indirect plane routes. 
EU travelers from Western Europe also continue to use land routes via countries including Austria, Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, Croatia, Romania, Serbia, Slovenia, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and Bulgaria, and sea ferry routes via Greece and Italy. Frequent, frequent arrests have taken place, place at the Bulgarian-Turkey border crossings. Um, I'm not going in details on the routes, but it's clear. Okay. The return routes for transitional fighters are reported to the similar to their outgoing routes and to be largely non-assisted and insignized, although they may return to the neighboring country's airport. However, on occasion, the use of refugee flows and false documentation has been observed. Using their newly acquired network of contacts, returnees are likewise involved in facilitating aspiring transitional fighters tra transit to conflict areas, also raising money to assist in financing the travel or to support fighting groups. The returnees' motivation could be adaptation problems, terrorist attacks in Europe, vacation between fighting, facilitation network activities, recruitment, attempt to escape from the attacks of the military intervention of the international coalition against ISIS. What is our outlook so far? The travel of European Western fighters to and from Syria and Iraq is mostly like to continue. Europe, including Bulgaria, can be outlined as a possible alternative for direct attacks against the enemies of Islam. Bulgaria, together with Greece and Romania, will continue to constitute transit countries for traveling jihadists from Syria. The Bulgarian government considered the foreign terrorist fighters as a threat to national security. In the short term, there is an increased risk that the, the foreign fighters will return to Europe and conduct terrorist activities. These jihadists are well prepared and have sufficient knowledge of the planning, preparation, and execution of attacks in the territory of the EU, including Bulgaria. Even without direct instruction, guidance, or support, they have strong enough motivation against the enemies of Islam to enable them to make local attacks. Bulgaria can be added to the enemy range. Jihadist volunteers are capable of implementing their war against the West locally in case that existing jihadist networks are, and channels are disrupted. They have stable motivation for attack even without any direct instruction or direct, direct support by concrete terrorist organization. In the medium and long term, the threat to the national security from foreign fighters is due to the risk then creating operational and log logistical terrorist cells and networks in Bulgaria, Western Balkans countries as well. As these persons have European do documents and would have an opportunity to travel and reside freely in Bulgaria. Their participation in jihad abroad gives them an opportunity and confidence to inspire, recruit, and train new volunteers locally and to build transnational networks. Other threat is related mostly to the potential destabilization of Muslim communities in Europe under the influence of the radicalized potential of the foreign terrorist fighters' veterans. It is a fact that the participation in part paramilitary activities in the conflict zone and to the returning foreign fighters as a specific power of attraction and in general it makes them figures which possess, which possess the possibility to radicalize vulnerable persons and groups. There also exists a risk from provocation of anti-Islamic and xenophobic moods. Bulgaria is a rare European Union country where Muslims are not recent immigrants but a century old community, mostly ethnic Turkish, descendants of Ottoman rule. Bulgaria has one of the largest Islamic community in Europe. They make up about 20% of the 7 million uh, population. Um, there is also a small Muslim immigrant community that dates back to 1960s are a Bulgarian student exchange. Bulgaria's largest Muslim community is 
predominantly moderate and traditional. Though both foreign and uh, Islamic extremists are active in the country. As extremist activities in Bulgaria include Hunderizing, logistical support, terrorist operations, and the recruitment of Bulgarian Muslims. Unemployment, weak, moderate Islamic institutions, and the history of discrimination and hence the vulnerability of Bulgarian Muslims to extremist, uh, Muslims to extremist exploitation. Regarding the traditional Syrian diaspora, it's, it's considered that Bulgaria is successfully integrated in the society and is not radicalized. The Bulgarian approach to fight against foreign terrorist fighters and against terrorism is general, in general, like the EU counterterrorism strategy, is focused on the four main pillars, prevent, protect, pursue, and respond. Across these pillars, Bulgaria gov Bulgarian government recognized the importance of cooperation with third countries and international institutions. And here something happened. Counterterrorism against, uh, I can't change here. Uh, here. You need to click on user. Are you pardon? Click on user. You need to click on user. Yeah. Sorry for this, but. No problem. Thank you. Countermeasures counter against foreign terrorist fighters include interception and dis disruption of the built networks, channels, individual travels, and possible attack planning. Uh, also, in details, measures are as follows. Detecting pre-departure signals throughout monitoring of the respective diasporas and specific vulnerable groups and individuals. Ident identifying and disrupting the facilitation networks for recruitment and travel movements, monitoring the returning activities, actively cooperate with the competent structures on national level, close international cooperation with other partners. In response to the increasing evidence of the transit of foreign terrorist fighters through the country, the government of Bulgaria has worked to enhance its prevention and informance tools. The Ministry of Interior and the State Agency for National Security have responded strongly to evidence of possible domestic support for ISIS. In November 2014, police arrested a group of Muslim men from Roma communities in the Pazarjik area for inciting war and anti-democratic activities. The men are followers of a controversial Imam, Ahmed Musa, who posted pictures out, uh, online of himself and some of his followers wearing clothing and holding a banner imprim imprinted with the ISIS logo. Bulgarian security forces raided more than 40 homes and a mosque in southern Bulgaria to seize books and computers in a special operation aimed to uncover radical Islamist activities. Some 26 people were held for 24 hours and 30 witnesses were questioned during the operation conducted by more than 400 police, police officers, security agents, prosecutors, and, and, and investigators. Investigators discover a large number of shirts, shirts, hats, flags, and banners with the logo of the Islamic State. Musa, a former Christian of Roma origin, who converted to Islam in 2000 while working in Vienna, had preached surrounded by the Islamic State flags. The Imam had told his followers to be prepared to fight against Christianity to achieve the ultimate goal of establishing a global caliphate. Musa groups had attempted to recruit fighters for Islamic State and that the crimes in question were committed between July 2014 and November 2014. In its national policy, Bulgaria decisively and consistently reg regards terrorism as one of the most significant, significant threats to international peace and security. A national plan on combating terrorism main goal is to minimize the terrorist threat by strengthening the cooperation between national and competent authorities. The national 
plan provides a set of measures focusing on preventing and pro protection from terrorism. The national strategy um, for the prevention of money laundering pr purpose is focused on the prevention of money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism throughout a more efficient use of the mechanism for detecting the largest Islamic communities, uh, uh, to detect the flow of funds obtained by criminal means and connected to the financing of terrorism. In 2015, a draft national strategy to prevent radicalization and fight against terrorism and an action plan for its implementation were prepared. The strategy lays down the specific risk related to the presence of the large number of foreign fighters uh, originating in Europe, including the region of the Western Balkans, which are traveling to participate in the activities of various ext extremist and terrorist formation. This strategy considered the vital importance to establish more close cooperation, not only between governments and law enforcement, enforcement institutions, but also with civil society, local communities, media, and the, pri and the private sector in order to ensure durable and viable solutions to fight against, to fight against violence, extremism, and radicalization. The contraction to the radicalization is the integration. In coordination with all competent agency and actors, new legislation to prevent and counter the security challenges related to FTF was, was developed. Bulgaria pro prosecutes suspected terrorists under several general provisions of the penal code, but lacks of comprehensive counter-terrorism legal framework is a fact. In 2014, the Minister of Justice introduced a draft amendment of the penal code that includes updated counter-terrorism status and aimed to ensure compliance with international standards, including incorporating into national legislation the EU United Nations Security Council Resolution 21728 on terrorist, for terrorist fighters. The draft is under discussion at the National Parliament and should be adopted by the end of this year. Further, a comprehensive framework law on counterterrorism will be developed in order to provide a legal base for prevention and counter actions against foreign terrorist fighters. The administrative and operative capacity of the competent institutions and law enforcement agency was threatening. Within the State Agency for National Security was developed a national counter-terrorism center. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has designed, designated a counter-terrorism coordinator, ambassador at large for counter-terrorism, who is a key point of contact on issues like foreign terrorist fighters. Um, I, I like to focus more about on national counter-terrorism center. It is located in Bulgarian State Agency for National Security this is the, count, the country's counterintelligence service, provides the first interministerial standing task force to develop law enforcement sensitive watch lists, coordinate between law enforcement and security services on counterterrorism checks and incidents, and build a common operating picture of the threats to national leadership in facing Bulgaria. The center was to provide coordinated management of national information resources in order to increase the effectiveness of the national system for combating terrorism. The, the, the Ministry of Interior also has operational units which are responsible for detecting and responding to incidents. This includes the speci specialized unit for combating terrorism, security police and special police forces. Specialized law enforcement units are properly equipped and supported with relevant, trained, but lack of resources in regional areas where the terrorism threat is more highly uh, possible appears strong, strongest problem. International Operational Cooperation Directorate with the Ministry of Interior of Bulgaria use different instruments and tools disrupting the foreign terrorist fighters' travel and activities. Cooperation with our partners, with Interpol, Europol, 
supplementary in information requested to the National Entry Center, Sirene, and so on. The influx of asylum, asylum seekers, primarily from Syria, puts a significant strain on law enforcement and operational activities to prevent the foreign terrorist fighters' threats. The Interior Ministry uh, reassigned scores of local police to the border area to assist the, the border police to, to control the, the, the border. The result has been increased deterrence against illegal border crossings, but significantly less capacity stay for other law enforcement issues. Bulgaria is supporting the global coalition to counter the Islamic State in Iraq and, uh, and Syria, but has not taken active military role. Further, Bulgaria is a member of an active contributor to counter-terrorism initiatives of the United Nations, European Union, Council of Europe, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, and NATO. Law enforcement officials benefit from joint investigations and training op opportunities which, with international partners. The active, the active position of the international community, including Bulgaria, for peaceful solve of the Syrian crisis, is it could be used as an argument for attacks on targets of Western countries by different jihadist uh, formation. Okay. Okay. So, our opinion and assessment is that further efforts are needed uh, in, the, in the direction of asylum seeker management policy improvement, education and specialized training on counterterrorism, enhancement of the regional cooperation in Eastern Europe and the Western Balkans on the prevention of the foreign terrorist threat, exchange of information and best practices, effective border control management. Our opinion, despite the current political discussions on the European level is, uh, regarding Schengen, is that Bulgaria needs to join Schengen Agreement. And uh, in conclusion, I, I would emphasize that terrorists for sure will be de defeated by the united forces of the anti-terrorist coalition. But the terrorist ideology cannot be defeated with weapons. It can be defeated with better ideas. History shows that terrorism has no religion. It can be defeated by societies which believe in human values. People with a high morality with belief, who believe in tolerance and the dialogue with the different can defeat terrorism. Thank you.